Afternoon all, Carl here from the Irish Weather Network. We have uh, two subtle differences in the weather for next week. Number one, the cold is prolonged. And number two, not only do we have one snow event, we have a second one. This is Wednesday the 10th of February. And the next one is later on on Friday, the 12th. Now it's over a week away still, so it can change. But like in the last two model runs, this has been shown to be a second snow event for next week. But as always, I'll keep you updated as we come closer to the time on this. This next chart is the jet stream. The jet stream is indicated in white, as you can see, going across the Atlantic here. So here's Ireland here, this little speck in the North Atlantic right here. And the jet stream is at 10 kilometers of height. And I'll tell you why the jet stream is very important to our weather. Because it can't dictate how our weather is around the island. Now... As you can see, here's the coast of California. It goes down to the Gulf of Mexico. Then it comes up the east coast of America. And it dives down, which is called a trough. And it comes back up through Spain, France, and so on through Europe. Now, once the jet stream is to the south of Ireland, it allow colder air to filter in from the east or the north. Now, as you can see, the jet stream is slightly fragmented. But it starts to pick up strength here, and I'll go this particular low pressure form, and I'll come back to that now in a few minutes. But you'll see that the jet stream stays to the south of Ireland over the course of next week. So it's allowing the cold air to filter in from the east or the north. Another reason why the jet stream is to the south of Ireland is. North Atlantic Oscillation, or the NAO, and that is in a positive state. It will mean we'll have our typical southwesterlies, mild, wet, stormy conditions that we usually get in January and February around this time of year. But it's in a negative state, which means that the stream is to the south of the island and allows in the polar air to filter in from the north and the east. Now, there is another one called the Arctic Oscillation, the AO, which is also negative. And this happens when we have a sudden stratospheric warming. So you have loads of high pressure that's dotted around Scandinavia, over the Arctic, over Greenland, over northern Canada. And that keeps the jet stream to the south, right through the middle parts of the Atlantic. So the likes of Spain and the Mediterranean, they will receive wettest conditions and stormy conditions when the NAO, or the North Atlantic Oscillation, is in a negative state. Now, I've touched on this low pressure here uh, a few moments ago, and why it's going to be very significant in our weather, maybe for the middle of next week. This is a storm depression and it's making, and it's going to turn into a massive storm. And the difference is, it's the contrast of Warmer, milder air from the south and the mid latitudes moving up against the colder air coming down from the north. Now, I'll show you the temperature contrast here. And you'll see here's the milder air and the warmer air filtering up from the mid latitudes, which is around the equatorial regions. And it's clashing with the cold polar air coming down from the north. And where these two meet, you're going to get these low pressures forming. And again, as I said, mentioned on, this is a typical weather pattern this time of year. But due to the jet stream is to the south, the storm depression may miss, miss us. But the northern flank, which will have its obviously its rain belt, will hit Ireland next Wednesday. And it'll give a lot of snow if this is the core. So if I move it on, here you'll see it's starting to gather strength. Potential pressure predicted is of 956 millibars, which is really low. And we go through Wednesday and into Thursday. You see, it starts to slide south of Ireland. Now, here's Ireland here, Ireland and the UK, and here's the storm depression. Now, the winds are still easterly, southeasterly to easterly, and the cold air is still aloft, which is ripe for snow if, if the rain belts do push up. But this is really important to, to keep an eye on this as well for next week, because if this does track up over us it's going to influence our weather in two ways one it could bring a lot of strong winds and damaging winds or two it could bring a lot of snow or maybe both so it's really important to keep in tune with the forecast and i will keep you up to date again as we go through the week on this 
here's the current state of play. This is today's chart, and we have the low pressure sitting over Ireland. The low is going to be the significant factor in our weather when it's going to draw in the easterly winds here, when it moves to the southwest. Uh, at the moment, we have um, rain and showers across the country, some bright spells. Uh, move on. Friday, we have the low pressure starting to sink to the south. Saturday, it's gone well to the south, and then we have the east east coming in. Now, right along the east coast of the UK, the colder air is going to hit there first, and turn most of this rain here into snow. And then we start to see the first effects of winter showers popping up on the eastern side of Ireland by Sunday. I still think these will be just rain or sleet, snow to the Wicklow Mountains or up over uh, up the Mar Mountains in the county down. But when this colder air starts to filter in, these snow showers will drift right down to the sea level and affect the eastern seaboard of Ireland. There's going to be a bit of a more of a push on showers come when, on Tuesday with a strong easterly wind that's going to blow these showers more inland. And this could reach no problem over to Galway if the wind is too strong. It's along the south coast as well and along the northern coast it will, won't escape these showers. Overall, it's going to be turning bitter cold. Uh, we're going to have overnight severe frost, especially in the western half of the island, when the skies will become clearer. Uh, along the east, you'll always have that risk of snow showers. Some of them will merge, form longer spells of snow. But these details are always sketchy at this time because it's usually an outcast. So in other words, when you watch the radar at the, at the time itself, you'll determine where the showers are going to hit. We have Tuesday into Wednesday, and this is this massive storm depression I was talk talking about earlier on coming in off the Atlantic. This is going to influence our weather on Wednesday with its force rain belt then to push on shore and the strengthening. This is a gale force south to south easterly wind, but it's bumping up against the colder air that's over Ireland. So nowhere is going to escape snow from this if this occurs. Now, as we move forward again, it's it envelops the whole island. And there's a lot of widespread snow. It might turn back to rain here in the southwest as the mild Atlantic air tries to move in. Keep on going. The same storm depression is going to slide off to the south. But Friday, it's going to throw up. It's a clouded front across Ireland. A lot of snow here again. And this is the second snow event. Could occur. This could all change. Uh, over the course of the next few rounds, and then this low pressure might not influence our weather at all, or it could come right over the Ireland, and which will make a difference either if it's going to snow or if it's going to rain and bring a lot of strong and damaging winds. So it's a bit of interest in uh, watch the weather over the following week, and as ever, I'll keep you up to date. So look, if you like this channel, please subscribe and uh, help me make more content like this. Uh, hit the notification bell and. Stay safe wherever you are. Thank you. Bye-bye.